The human skeleton is the internal framework of the human body. The skeleton is the body part that forms the supporting structure of an organism. They allow body parts to move and protect organs from damage. They also produce red and white blood cells. In this video, let us talk about parts of human skeletal system, interesting facts about the skeletal system, functions of human skeletal system. The term skeleton came from the Greek word skeletos, which means dried up. Human skeletal system consists of a framework of bones and few cartilages. Bones and cartilages are specialized connective tissues. The bone has a very hard matrix due to calcium salts in it. And the cartilage has a slightly pliable matrix due to chondritin salts. Did you know how many bones are there in an adult body? In adult human body, skeletal system is made up of around 206 bones and a few cartilages. Do babies have same number of bones as adults? Babies have more bones than adults. Babies are born with around 270 bones. Some of these tiny bones are fused together to form the larger bones of the skeletal system. The human skeleton can be divided into two groups. They are axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton. Axial skeleton. The axial skeleton is formed by vertebral column, rib cage, skull, and other associated bones. Axial skeleton has around 80 bones in total, distributed along the main axis of the body. Bones of human skull. The human skull is the bony structure that forms the head in the human skeleton. The skull is composed of two sets of bones. They are cranial bones and facial bones. The skull is made up of 22 bones and 7 associated bones. Cranial bones are 8 in number. They form hard protective outer covering called cranium for the brain. Facial bones The facial region is made up of 14 skeletal elements which form the front part of the skull. Every bone is connected to another bone with one exception. Did you know what is the only bone in the human body that is not connected to another bone? A single U-shaped bone called hyoid is placed at the base of the buccal cavity and it is also included in the skull and it is responsible for holding your tongue in place. Hyoid is the only bone in the human body that is not connected to another bone. Did you know what is the smallest bone in the human body? Each middle ear contains three tiny bones. They are malleus, incus and strips. They are collectively called as ear ossicles. The stapes which is present in the middle ear is the smallest and lightest bone of the human skeleton. This bone is also called as the stirrup 
because of its Y shape. Most of the bones of the skull are joined together by immovable joints. The skull supports the structures of face and forms a cavity for the brain. It protects the brain from injury. Vertebral column. It extends from the base of the skull and forms the main framework of the trunk. The vertebrae in the human vertebral column is divided into different regions. These regions are called as the coccygeal vertebrae, sacrum, lumbar vertebrae, thoracic vertebrae, and cervical vertebrae. There are four coccygeal bones are fused together in adults as one bone, which is also called as tailbone. Five sacral bones are fused in adults as one bone. Five lumbar bones, twelve thoracic bones, and seven cervical bones are present in the human vertebral column. In the human vertebral column, there are normally 33 vertebrae. After fusing, our vertebral column has around 26 vertebrae. The upper 24 are separated from each other by intervertebral discs. The vertebral column protects the spinal cord, supports the head and serves as the point of attachment for the ribs and musculature of the back. Did you know about death's head symbol? Skull and crossbones or death's head is the symbol of human skull with two long bones crossed below it. It is used in several contexts. Generally, it is used as a symbol of death or a warning symbol of poisonous substances and danger. Vertebra Each vertebra has a central halo portion through which the spinal cord passes. A typical vertebra consists of two parts, the vertebral body and the vertebral arch. Spinal cord The vertebral column surrounds the spinal cord which travels within the spinal canal formed from the central hole within each vertebra. The spinal cord is part of the central nervous system that supplies nerves and receives information from the body. Did you know what is the study of bones called? The study of bones is called as ostology. It is derived from the Greek words oston which means bone and logos which means knowledge. The scientific study of bones is practiced by osteologists. Rib cage, ribs, thoracic vertebrae, and the sternum together form the rib cage. Rib cage is also known as thoracic cage. The rib cage has a major function in the respiratory system. It protects the heart and lungs. Ribs. There are 12 pairs of ribs in the rib cage. The first seven ribs are known as fixed ribs or true ribs as they connect directly to the sternum. The next five pairs, A to 12th are the false ribs as they do not connect directly to the sternum. The eighth, ninth and tenth pairs of ribs do not connect directly with the sternum but join 
with the seventh rib with the help of cotylase. Last two pairs, 11th and 12th rib pairs are attached only to the vertebrae and they do not connect to the sternum or the cartilage of the sternum. So they are called as floating ribs. These ribs are relatively small and delicate. Did you know that some people have an extra rib? Most people have 12 pairs of ribs, but some have 13, which is very rare. This extra rib is called as cervical rib. It can cause medical issues like neck pain. For that reason, people born with this extra rib often have it removed. Sternum The sternum is a long, flat bone that forms the front of the rib cage. The cartilages of the top seven ribs join with the sternum. Appendicular skeleton. The appendicular skeleton is formed by the shoulder girdle, the pelvic girdle, and the bones of the upper and lower limbs. The bones of the limbs along with their girdles together form the appendicular skeleton. The bones of the hand are humerus, radius, ulna, carpals which are also called as wrist bones are 8, 5 metacarpals which are palm bones and 14 phalanges. Did you know what is the most broken bone in the human body? Arms are among the most broken bones in adults. The collar bone is the most broken bone among children. The bones of the legs are femur, the thigh bone, tibia and fibula, seven tarsals which are ankle bones, five metatarsals and 14 phalanges. Did you know what is the longest bone in the human body? The longest bone in the human body is in your leg. The femur, the thigh bone, is the longest and strongest bone of the human skeleton. A cup-shaped bone called patella covered the knee at front, which is also called as knee cap. Pectoral guttural bones help in joining the upper limbs with the axial skeleton. Pelvic girdle bones help in joining of lower limbs to the axial skeleton. Each girdle is formed of two halves. Each half of pectoral girdle consists of a clavicle and scapula. Clavicle bone is commonly known as collar bone. Scapula is a large triangle flat bone situated in the back part of the thorax between the second and seventh ribs. Pelvic girdle consists of two coxal bones. Each coxal bone is formed by the fusion of three bones, ilium, ischium and pubis. Pelvis the pelvis is in the lower part of the trunk of human body. It is between the abdomen and the thighs. The structure of the pelvis is different from male to female. Thank you very much.